This is a Tom Banter audio production, and all rights are reserved. What we know about Tomas so far. Sometime around 200 AD, Tomas was made into a vampire by a stranger he calls the Tall Man. He has been searching for this man ever since. In 1823, Tomas successfully makes a lover after saving her from a mysteriously unmade monster. Out of control with bloodlust, she is killed by an angry mob not one year later. In 2011, Tomas seduces and attempts to make the owner of a home at an undetermined location. Ten years later, in 2021, Tomas escapes capture after a deranged mayor tries to feed Tomas to the townsmen, trying to create an army of vampire. Tomas destroys the town after his escape. Tomas visits an unknown man named Matthew not long after, and they journey toward the United States together. Today, Tomas hides in an alley near a dumpster, behind trash bins, his left arm barely attached. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Um. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just yeah, not, uh, doing anything. Just don't, don't mind me. What? What am I doing? Where? Oh, <laughs> um, in the, in the alley, you mean, behind, uh, behind the, the garbage bins. Um, I was just... You know, um, thinking, and, uh, and it was nice and peaceful here, uh, by the, uh, by the, by the garbage, you know, so, um, I just, I just came here to sit and, uh, and think and look up at the stars and and think. Uh, Did I already say think? Yeah, I I meant a question. Um, Yeah, 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 you know, you know, um, question like uh, uh, the, uh, the universe, you know, like why are, why are we here and stuff? So, uh, yeah, I'm just, um, just having, just having a think. Uh, Could you, uh, could you do me a favor and, and not, not tell anyone that you saw me here? I would, I would really appreciate it if, if nobody came and, and, and just, disturb my thinking I didn't no I didn't I didn't I didn't say that I didn't say that I I didn't want people to find me I just I I just I don't want any of them to come and and disturb my my thinking when they you know when they when they when they come across me here. No, 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 they're not, they're not the same thing. They're, they're not the same thing. Uh, well, in, in the first case, you make it sound like, like I'm hiding here and I just, I just don't want people to, to, to find me. Okay. But in the second case, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having a think. And it is a thing. It is a thing. Having, I'm having a, it is a thing. And, and I, I don't want people to 
to come across me because it, it could, uh, it could, you know, disturb, just disturb my, disturb my, th my, you know, my thought, my thought process, processes. Do you under, do you understand? Hey, hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Please, please don't tell anybody. You, you won't? Really? Huh. Thank you. What? What do you, what do you, what do you mean that I'm full of shit? You just, you just said that, that you wouldn't, what, what do you mean? No, nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. I'm not, I'm not hiding anything. No, I, no, I always, I always sit like this. Uh, no. Honest, honestly, this this is uh, this is just how. This is just how I, I sit. No. It's not. No, I promise. It's it's not. It's fine. Please, can. Can you. Can you just. Pretend like you're not smart enough to notice that anything is wrong with my arm. And pretend like you never saw any blood and pretend like you never saw me. Please. Please. You won't, you won't say anything? Okay. Good. Um. Do you mind, you know, g giving me a little privacy? Yes, pri privacy behind the garbage bins. Yes, yes, to, to look up at the stars and, 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 and think. We both know it's not, we both know it's not so I can look up at the stars and think. It's just, I, it's something that I have to do and I would rather not make anybody else have to watch. I just, I really, I really don't think you want to see what's going on over here, okay? No, 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 not, not, not that. I'm not doing that. That's not, that is not what I'm doing. Oh, God. Is that what you think I'm doing behind the dumpsters? No. Okay. I, 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 I okay, I know, I know, I know what I said S sounded a little bit, a little bit s suspect, but that's not. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, oh. No, 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 I no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I can't risk what you might do. <laughs> My trust. My trust. Yes, I. I, I suppose you, you have earned some trust, but I warn you, if you hang around with me long enough, you'll quickly see that trust is a dangerous thing to give to a stranger, and you are a stranger to me.
trust is your chest zipped open, your heart rife with the picking and the stomping, your lungs flash frozen petrified, no breathing, trust is your spine made bare under your flesh, for your new friends to plunge their daggers, trust is the thread that sews your path to the future, promises designed by the hands holding the needle, owners of your trust, the needle that sews your mouth and eyes shut, nothing you see matters anymore, nothing you say matters anymore, trust is the steel coming down on your limbs onto your neck, yes, you friend. <clears throat> You've earned a little trust, but I am wary of my body, my person. I will take that trust back from you no matter how injured and make you wish you had never betrayed me, make you wish I had the mercy to end your life before I leave you to rot alive on the ground, do you understand? I'm kind of intense. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, I suppose you don't get to be my age without learning a few paranoid tips on how to handle your day-to-day -day affairs with people. People are dangerous. I don't look that old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Trust me. I am that old. Okay. You want my trust. You want me to show you who I am. Why I'm hiding in the alley. Okay, I'll do that, but you have to come closer to me. I'm not getting up, I have to stay here and rest. Yes, if you want to know, you must come closer to me. What's the matter? Are you scared? I'll do something crazy. Well then, please come here. There we go. Much better. I have got a terrible migraine. My arm is killing me. It was hard for me to see your face in the light of the street lamp. I can see you much better now that you're in the dark. Tell me, stranger, what is your name? Okay. My name is Thomas. You are... Forgive me for saying... Very cute. <laughs> okay then. On to business, right? This is the reason I don't want anybody to find me here. <coughs> don't scream. Don't. No. Don't. Don't draw attention to us. What happened is I was attacked. By 
some of the people in town. Oh, because they were scared of me. Because I am somebody you should be scared of. No, I didn't do anything to anybody. Not here anyway. Something, something, something is happening to me. I was, I was outside of the Speedy Mart, the one at the center of town. And I was just admiring all the lights down the street, on the building, inside the store. So many colors, so vibrant, so beautiful. We've learned how to make beautiful things that glow in the night. And then I looked up at the moon. And my eyes, I, I, I could feel my third lid retract. I could feel the night air on my pupils. And I was gazing at the moon and I could feel it. I was shifting. I felt every muscle tense and then explode. And my head exploded my sense of smell all of it and i stretched my mouth open a reflex my teeth were forcing their way out my gums were bleeding all over the pavement i was hissing terribly and everyone was watching me and i could hear everything they were saying i could hear what some of them were thinking I could smell the fear on them. There were too many of them. Too many of them to suggest anything to. Anyway, they found me eventually. They did this to me. Caught me with a machete. That was after they pinned me down and hammered a railroad bike into my chest. Oh. Luckily, in the half an hour it took me to run away and wait for my heart to reshape itself, I was still about half an hour short of my next heartbeat, and I thought I found somewhere good to hide, but they found me. <laughs> They started hacking away. Anyway. I... I picked up my arm and literally beat someone with it. And then ran. I ran. Until I was out of the city center. The whole time pressing my arm against the open wound. On the side of my torso. Pressing desperately as I ran until it started to take. Mm. But I still have to hold it in place because it's not strong enough yet. I, I just need a couple more hours. Just a couple more hours until more tissue reforms, connects. Is that okay? If I answer you, you must promise you will not freak out. Do you promise? Okay. Ask me. Ask me. You want to ask me, don't you? You want to know if I am. Ask me. It's okay. It's okay. Gerdest. Megil mundo. Gerdest hengem. Tudom ok tunni akarot. En. Bagyo. I wouldn't want to ask either, because then it's on you, 
right? But it's all on me if I tell you voluntarily, right? My name is Thomas of Buddha of the Order of Vampire. And I have walked the earth since 200 years after Christ. Once a year I find somebody to suck dry. This person has to be very special. I am very picky about my meals. The process does not kill them. Though, the unfortunate side effect is the tendency to fall in love for both parties. As far as side effects go, I'd say that one rocks, wouldn't you say? I won't tell you if I want you to be my meal. No, I'm not going to tell you if I want to suck you dry. You'll just have to find out if you are that special to me. That is, if you stick around. If you don't run away. Are you going to run away from me? If you decide to, I will not pursue you. So now is your chance. What are you going to do? My cute new friend. Again, you talk like a grand willow. Oh, 